critical problem right now. I cannot give you a stone. Okay, next. Lexus. So, how was your experience in Korea so far? Really good so far. It's really fun. What was the best part in the past two weeks? Sometimes I just love looking out my window because mm -hmm. it's so pretty. And I also love the food. It's so good. Which one? Actually, recently I just tried um, raw marinated crab. Ganjang gejang. Yes. <laughs> I squeeze the crab and then it lays on top of the rice and I put seaweed on top. <laughs> See, yeah, oh, you did the whole nine yards. Oh, okay. And what's the toughest part preparing for this performance? I think for me, during my dance classes, I did well executing with a good energy. But um, when I had to do the two together, singing and dancing, it was a struggle for me. I think once I did the two together, it was hard for me to not think about um, singing and dancing and just letting it go and then putting my personality mm -hmm. into it. But today you have to. Because if you start thinking about it, it'll show. Yes. To be completely honest, I'm very unconfident in what's to come today. There are some parts in the song where I do have to reach a higher note, um, and I am worried about that because I haven't been able to hit it well recently. Everybody, are you ready to party? <laughs> are you ready to party? Get up. 너를 깨어나게 줄게 여기 내 손을 잡아. Oh. 깨어나게 해줄게 여기 내 여기부터 이제 시작이 살짝 높다라는 생각이 드니까 몸이 너무 바빠져. 여기 내 손을 잡아. 한번 해볼게요. 여기 내 손을 잡아. 호흡이나 막 이런 것들이, 그러니까 렉시가 보면은 그 잘해야 되는 부분을 신경을 모든 걸다 쓰고 있는 게 느껴지거든요. I really, really do. 어, 너무 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 느껴지는데 이제 그 그게 조금만 조금만 차와주시면. 응. 즐기는 게 제일 최우선이니까. Okay. <laughs> I've arrived at the studio now. It's 
I hope that you have seen my growth all together from the LA boot camp. So, um, but I have been practicing, so hopefully it pays off on the stage performance. I will do my best today, no matter what, even if my throat hurts, even if I'm nervous, um, even if I'm not confident, I will do my best to put on the best performance that I can. Because of her background in ballet, her movements are so precise and delicate, but like this is just really hip hop, casual, fun energy. So yeah, this song can show me a total different side of her that I didn't see before. Best performance so far. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Don't. don't. Cry, don't cry. And it got so much better than when you were performing the fields. You're such a good dancer, Lexi. You just know how each movement should feel like. Instead of just doing the move, you always understand the feel of the movements. There's certain movements that you just, you just switch your feelings of the movements. Instead of just, just barely doing it, instead of just perfectly executing it, you, you make it feel right. And on top of that, your facial expression is getting better and better. Uh, your vocals got so much better. So much better. Still, there's still a long way to go, but it got so much better. Because I, I remember how you used to sing. If you sing like this in the next evaluation, I cannot give you a stone.
But today, I can't. But today, I can't. Please come here. She's crying, I think. I can't see it anymore. It's out of sight. Good job. Lexi, but, but, but you gotta get better in your vocals, okay? Focus, focus. Yes. Three months left. Focus, all right? Thank you. Good job. She does. There's so many contestants that are good in dancing, but her, it, it's, it's, it feels like she's on a different level. Because she, she, she fools around with the movements. And today, like, her facial expression was just, uh, it, was, it was really different from before. Today, like, she was aggressive. That's the part that I really liked. Like, she could do the same movements in, in a different type of vibe depending her mood on that day. That's, that's where she is. I stressed a lot before this assessment and um, I was overthinking everything a lot. Um, I didn't have any confidence before getting on that stage, but I feel amazing. I honestly wasn't expecting this, so I'm really happy. <laughs> I guess it made me feel like a little worried because everyone's so good. Um, I think so. I'm a little nervous, but I think I'm as ready as I can be. Okay, so okay, next, Yuna. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Fortunately, but at the same time, Unfortunately, you finished ninth in the boot camp. How were you processing uh, the result of the boot camp? Well, first of all, I was really, really thankful for this opportunity because I was not expecting anything like this in my life anytime soon. So, and now I'm like working extra hard to be able to do better and like not have such a different level of skills with the other girls. Great, so today you're gonna sing Miss A, Bad Girl, Good Girl. You not singing Bad Girl, Good Girl will be a serious challenge. It's, she's the most untrained contestants of all. This song, requires a lot of fundamental technique. I think this will be the biggest challenge of today's performances. Um, yeah, I think I was like really frustrated with myself because I think it took me like three or four lessons to get to learn like the full choreography.
when I was struggling with some moves towards the end, I got really frustrated with myself that it was taking me so long to learn the choreography. You did it good, like yesterday was really good, yeah. Camila, she helps me a lot, especially with like pitch. Makes me feel a lot confident with my song. What's the part you go? She did like this. Yeah, she goes like. <laughs> Christina also helps me with like dance details. Yes, you see? <laughs> see? Just right. have the confidence, okay? Yeah. It's just because you're good now, you're set. Just you need to have the confidence. That's it. Just believe that you are good. The confidence and like the facials. That's yeah. it. I think every day I'm improving more. So I think that's like making me really happy and it's like giving me more motivation keep getting better every day oh well, um, I'm excited to show um, um, the rap that I wrote because it's the first time I've written a rap for a song and I think like really expressing that like I'm not as bad as I look like the lyrics say the boy you don't know me too bad you can't control me it's hard to find a girl like me cause I'm the one and only so boy get out of my way so get out of my way cause you're wasting my time you're wasting my time I'm just myself type of thing you know okay I hope he like tells me that like he's like impressed the, about my rap because that I'm working really hard to like get better every day. And Stone, I think maybe yes. Okay, please show me what you got. Yes. Go Yuna. Come on Yuna. Come on Yuna. Come on, Yuna. Come on, Yuna. Wrap.
disappointed. So the middle part was the rap part that you wrote, right? And uh, you missed, and then you were unable to catch up with it, right? <laughs> So what happened in the middle? Please. I don't know. I, I I got confused a little bit. I mean, it can definitely happen. It, it, it's not easy. <laughs> so. Um. It, it started out great. The biggest difference that I realized was that I, I was feeling so much more charisma and confidence even before you start performance. When, when you did the starting pose before you start singing, It just looked different. It was more charismatic. I just felt so much more confidence in that one posture. So I think that's the biggest difference, the confidence that you have now. But uh, after you missed your rap part, and then you, you were really, uh, you were started to uh, become uh, nervous again. And okay, first, I see you, you are great at certain dances, but you're, you're not that good at some other dances. But if you want to do the K-pop performance, there's so many different types of dances that you have to do. So I think it's really important for you to uh, practice a lot of different style of dance. So I think that's what you need to focus on your dance. And second, singing is, is the most uh, critical problem right now. Critical problem right now. I think you really need to practice hard and try to improve your uh, singing while you're here. You pay attention to every single detail that the trainers and teachers teach you, and then you, you have to just keep on practicing and, and push yourself to the limit. All right, good job. Thank you. that I couldn't show the rap that I prepared and I'm gonna practice hard on my vocals like he said I think she has that star quality it's just that a little bit less prepared than other contestants so yeah she is my biggest worry Okay, next, Savannah. Okay, next, Savannah. Oh, I can't see this. Go, 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 You can do it. Good luck, you're gonna do so good. You're gonna play. Just so do you go. expression. Hi. Okay, 
tell me, what were you thinking for the past six months? I worked on my dancing, my stamina mm. a lot more because I realized when I'm mm. singing and dancing, it's a whole different ball game. <laughs> mm. And um, yeah, I tried to do uh, more singing to get more comfortable with it so I can be more confident. I can totally see why you're dressed like that. You're going <laughs> to perform thunderous, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I think it's pretty evident that like I was more of a dancer to begin with before like joining A2K. In the song itself, it's a very like I would say dance-based choreo. Yeah, it is, it's it, I would say it's a little challenging for one, but I'm really excited about it because it is like my style a lot. So yeah. Okay. I think this song is kind of like perfectly in my range, even though it is originally sung by like eight guys. And while I was practicing, um, the dance is definitely a little bit challenging because it just takes a lot of energy and full force like every time. So I'd say the most challenging part was more so putting the two together for the performance, singing, rapping, and dancing. I got a vocal. A vocal sticker. I'm surprised because my voice today has been not that great. So I was kind of worried about that, but I'm glad she saw that I somehow deserved it. <laughs> I wanted to go harder, but that was like one of the first times I've actually like went full out, kind of full out and sang or rapped. And it's really hard, but I'm excited. I'm just gonna keep practicing. I should be good. We did a lot of um, dancing today, so I'm gonna go practice, but I think I'm just gonna mark with details. It's been a lot of fun, actually, for me. Dancing every day. <laughs> a lot of fun. My legs are a bit tired, but um, I think we're still gonna go practice later on though. But um okay, see you guys. Bye. Oh ah! uh, like yesterday I like sprained my ankle a little bit while practicing and so I'm just trying to work through that for the performance today. That's my biggest worry though, but I just have to practice and I need my condition to get better so I can practice fully. So I'm very excited to see it and please show us what you have. Yes. Woo Go stop there. Go stop there. For this performance, I really just want to show off like a really cool vibe. I'm
honey candy, veggie, virgin, sun. Down to the corner trail, cold and cool now. Nama sunne no so dora ga so yogi na mo ne dey go ne. Na chak hai jille on ne kotha bhi tu hai hamke sound jate. Hoshing da hung jang hagi ne ne gyan sorry. Here they come, ag tang muri to go on piga dora on mo me banja. That was amazing, Savannah. That was amazing, Savannah. Thank you. The most impressive part was the singing. Oh, really? The, the, uh, how you maintained power while doing all those crazy movements. There's people who push out their voice, and there's people who make their voice resonate instead of straining and pushing it out. You, you resonate your sound because you open your throat and just let it resonate instead of trying to push out the sound. That's why you, you give me a full voice. I have to give special thanks to <laughs> the teachers for that because um, I realized that when I'm singing alone without dancing, my voice does get a little thin, so I have to relearn my technique for like pushing Open it out Open up the diaphragm. Here. Yeah, and I kind of noticed that when I dance, I kind of do it automatically, uh -huh. so I found it sometimes easier to sing the high notes when I'm dancing. <laughs> one thing and one thing only. One thing and one thing only. I need you to make the movements bigger. Instead of stretching out like this, I need you to do this. Instead of doing this, I need you to do this. That's the only thing. Got uh, it. I'm gonna show this to stray kids. I'm gonna show this to stray kids. <gasps> no. Yes! Yes! She's so lucky. They'll be so <laughs> surprised, and especially doing that leg shake on one leg. Uh, that's not easy. <laughs> And you were so stable. Is, is that gymnastics, right? That comes yeah, from gymnastics, so, right? Yeah. <laughs> you have no problem standing on one leg. I mean, it definitely <laughs> was a little struggle, but. <laughs> Come here. Oh, oh thank you. Woo! Yeah. Good job, Sabah. All right. Great performance. <laughs> thank you.
Uh, yes, I am. I am. Um, I understand the feedback and I'll definitely apply it. I just wish I could have formed to my 100% ability. But it's okay, I'm so happy under the circumstances. Uh, my, my biggest worry about her is that she might be too easygoing, complacent, but she's not. I can see she's very passionate and she's disciplined and she's capable of driving herself, propelling herself to become better. Oh, she's injured? Wow, wow. And she didn't even say it. How about other people? How about you? This was my impression, not thinking too much. Anybody feels different? Anybody feel different? You guys liked her performance? Oh, okay. So, this much? Like, like, like her, she wasn't that good, but her emotions were crazy, right? And her emotions were crazy. Can you please bring in the contestants? Oh my gosh. First, I want to congratulate you for finishing your first evaluation here in Korea. It's the first of the three, so I hope you don't get overexcited nor discouraged by today's results. And the difference it makes is that I need to feel your performance. At the end of the day, you need to move the audience. If you think about it, it was not only technique or skills, right? Not their eyes, not their ears, but, but you have to touch their hearts, okay? So please uh, understand that that was my thought process, ranking you, your performances today. So first, uh, finishing ninth. Yuna, Yuna. Okay. As you know, uh, there was an unfortunate mistake on stage, but it's it's only a start. So I think this could be a this could be a great chance for you to bounce back and uh, use it as motivation for the next evaluation. So, you know, as you know, if you finish ninth two times, you get to leave the debuting process. So make sure to be focused and use this as a motivation to bounce back, okay? Finishing eighth is Gina. Uh, finishing seventh was Lexus. If I had to judge only by dancing and facial expressions, I think you might finish number one today. It's, it's the singing, Alexis, it's the singing. So now you clearly know your weakness. You have to be better at singing, that's all it is. Your, your dance is maybe one of the best among the contestants, okay? All right. Finishing sixth. Christina, you did so well today. We, we need that extra spice on top of the well-skilled performance you showed me today. Your performance was nothing short of great today, okay? Don't be discouraged. Finishing fifth, Savannah. 
Finishing fourth, Kaylee. And the next three contestants. I enjoyed your performance. I, I just watched it because there was just so much emotion involved in every note you sing, every movements you made. It's in third place. KJ. I didn't know you can deliver that much of an emotion. It, 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 it was just so powerful. Great job. Finishing first place. Today, it's Kendall. I mean, it felt like you were in this zone, like you went someplace. And you told me that you were still nervous, but once you start performing, you were just so confident of every note you are singing every move you are making as if you know how special this was. That's how it felt to me. And it, it was just so powerful. Camila, as usual, yeah, you were just amazing. <laughs> okay? Thank you. So, uh, today the reason I called three of you is because you guys finished in the top three of the individual level test. And I'm very proud of you. And you guys are doing so well. Anyway, when this project starts to be aired online, we need a song for the end of each episode. So I needed somebody to sing this song. I selected you three guys to sing this song. All right? Mm. I think I'm nervous. Because, like, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think he would be there. Now I'm like, I feel like I need to do very good. Kind of in shock. Like, it's crazy. They all get to, like, work with him in person. We're going to start with KG. Go ahead. Oh, oh KG. <laughs> It's good. Can you hear me now, KG? Yes, I can hear you. Oh. Great to know that. Oh. Okay, let's try this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready for the world. Is the world ready for me? Love it. Give me a little bit more uh, energy, emotion, without your voice getting thin. Okay. Okay. I'm ready for the world. Is the world ready for me? Okay, I'm ready. That's the right note. Okay. I'm ready. The D has to come down. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready for. I'm ready for. Yeah, that's it. So you have to bring down the D. Ready. ready. You're, you, you keep doing ready. That's what oh, you're doing. Okay. I want to see the world. Does the world want to see me? Yeah, sounds much better. Okay. Sing with confidence. I want to see the world. Does the world want to see me? Okay, see, after you start moving your body, it sounds so much better. I need you to dance while singing, okay? I want to see the world. Does the world want to see me? 
uh, he was very like specific with what he wanted, which is really good because, or essentially he would tell you exactly how he wanted it and then you would just keep practicing it until you would get it right and just keep doing it until it was correct. I wanna see the world, does the world wanna see me? The see me part sounds too soft and lazy for me. Oh, okay. I wanna see me. I, wa I want to finish with charisma. Mm. Okay. See the world, does the world want to see me? Oh. See me. A uh, little bit more energy. Okay. He knows what he like wants and how he wants the song to sound. And he's really helpful with his comments. And he also like gives you energy to just do it um, the best way you can do it. So I'm really grateful for it. Done. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do you guys remember who finished fourth? Kaylee. Kaylee. Kaylee finished fourth. Oh, yeah. Is Kelly in the building right now? Can you call up Kaylee? Oh. We're in the middle of recording the ending title, which is, you know, that song that comes out at the yeah. end of each episode. I thought I need three different voices, but I realized I want four. And I just heard you are the fourth place in individual level test, so you get to sing the fourth part. Okay, the third section is your part. I, before, when they announced that there were only three, I was really disappointed. But then when it actually happened, I was like really surprised. It was kind of scary, <laughs> but it was fun. I think it could have been better. I was not that impressed by your dancing today. But still, still you have to practice more. What happened? It was like a team that practiced for years. You're amazing. Great teamwork, great performance. You're like a superstar.